Okay, so <clears throat> so it looks like in the past, when it comes to love, you've been doing a lot of thinking, okay? Trying to figure out who's really for you. That's what I get from the crown chakra card. It's where you try to merge your the wisdom that you have with spirit, okay? So you're trying to be in alignment with what is actually for you, okay? Which is very good, Aquarius. I mean, that's a really good and positive thing to be doing to to manifest you know the the right love life for yourself okay on the outside you're finding balance in your love life balance i'm feeling between you and that other person whether there's um energy as far as work or, and I, I feel pentacles, okay? So whatever it has to do, it has to do with you all trying to build, okay? Not necessarily with each other, but just trying to build your own lives. Um, I just see people working on their own lives and then coming together, trying to find time to come together. Um, yeah, that's all I see. So in your, or the subconscious, you have the nine of swords, which, which is the darkest fears. And I feel like you worry in the inside that it's not going to work out or it's not going to come together after you've done all of this thinking about what's best for you. But with this being in your future, I wouldn't worry, which is new vitality, which is actually the ace of wands. And that's all about eagerness to start or a turning point that's happening within the relationship. Uh, maybe you communicate about what's going on. Maybe you um, work hours are diminished so you can spend more time together. Well, something happens where you come to some kind of mutual understanding and uh, growth is allowed or it, it's an opportunity for growth. So to me, it means that you're going to have to make a decision, okay, based on what you want or what's best for you, okay? So when this card comes up, I feel like you need to work on this, is your fears, letting go of your fears or letting go of what's going to happen and just base it off on, of the 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 bout or the the time that you spend with this person, okay? Because it, it feels like it's a good balance emotionally it's just a problem physically getting you two together or, or or something of that nature okay so it's not that it's a bad relationship and there is an opportunity for growth which leads me to your overall love card and it is the ace of wands which is that so it's just a reminder that even though things may not be working out for the best at this time, there is definitely an opportunity for things to grow. So keep your head up, Aquarius, okay? And your overall oracle card, which I'm shuffling right now, if you can hear all this noise, is keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Exactly. So something is different about this other person. But for some reason, it balances out in some way. Uh, maybe they work a lot more than you. Maybe they make a lot more money. Something in that nature. Because I keep seeing pentacles. Okay. So I don't think it's emotional or... Or... Um... Or like their passion levels. I don't. I don't really think it's that. Okay. So that's just a reminder to keep an open mind because you actually got two, two Ace of Wands. Okay. So there's definitely an opportunity for some passion here or some growth. There is some, some sort of growth here. So I would definitely go with that. I mean that feels pretty good to me, Aquarius. Okay. So for your career. Um, for some of you, I feel like you're looking for another job. You're having a hard time finding another job or you're taking a rest or some sort of vacation. Okay. But I don't see a lot of, in the past, I don't see a lot of activity as far as your 
career goes or, or things are stagnant or things are just the same as what they are, but you're reevaluating. So if you're already in a position, you're thinking about new positions or what you can do better or how you can grow. If you're not working, you're filling out applications, looking around or trying to think of ideas of what you would like to do. Okay. On the outside, you're happy. You're spending time with family and friends. You're, you're a okay. You're really fine. Okay. But in the inside, you feel like you've lost. Okay. You're really, you, okay. <laughs> so emotionally, you feel a little drained. Okay. You feel a little down. You feel a little like, oh my God, everything is just happening at once. But on the other hand, but on the other hand, you have your family and friends or you're spending time with people that keep you happy. So this is like the balance that you've been doing. Okay. With disruption in your future, I see that, um, something needs to be knocked. It's like, this needs to be reevaluated. Okay. So you can work on this because I feel like this is something that's happening, but you've kind of been quote unquote, medicating it this way. And that's going to change. So something's going to change. It might be abrupt. It might be something uh, that feels horrible to you. Um, but it, it needs to change in order for you to see the thing that you felt in the past. Okay. If that makes any sense, your overall card is the 10 of cups. So the Ten of Cups let me know, lets me know that there is a positive outcome from this tower energy or that disruption energy, okay? So there is some bliss, some peace. There is some coming together um, with that, okay? Sevens are about... Sevens are about your own mind, okay? It's about making not making your own decisions, but seeking knowledge. Okay. So this is, this happens in order for you to see this part of your foundation that was weak. Thank you, spirit. In order to lead you to a 10, which is the new cycle coming into being in your career or in your, um, physical life okay so i'm going to pull a oracle card from the life purpose deck i believe it's a doreen virtue deck and you got yoga i think sagittarius got that as well if i can remember and this is about basically remaining calm okay yoga stretching and exercising is all about centering yourself listening to your body, your needs, spirit, okay? Seeing that even though all of these things are going to happen to you with this disruption with the tower, it's going to make, it's going to cause a rift. You're going to see it. You're going to feel it, okay? But just know that it's for all for the good. It's all to wrap things up with that 10 energy to bring in a new cycle, okay? So Aquarius, that was your spring 2017 special reading. Thank you so much for listening. I love you very much. Love and light. Bye-bye.